What's up everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how to share full vertical videos for Instagram stories by exporting them through Final Cut Pro. There's a lot of tutorials out there on the internet for Adobe Premiere Pro, but nobody's been doing it for Final Cut, so in this video I'm going to show you how. Okay everybody, so to begin, go to Final Cut Pro, and what you want to do is you want to go to File, you want to go to New, and you want to select Project. And once you get to this screen, you're going to see you're going to have your typical formats. You're going to have your 1080p, most likely 1920 by 1080 resolution and you're gonna have the frame rate. I'm gonna go with 24 frames per second because the video clips I'm gonna use are 24 frames. So I wanna match that for the Instagram story that we're gonna create. Now right here, you wanna click format and you wanna go to custom, all right? And we're gonna change the resolution to 1080 by 1920 because this is gonna make a vertical format for the Instagram stories. And let's just name this project Instagram stories. Now once you have the project created, you want to drag the video you're going to use to make your Instagram story with. Now typically my standards when I'm going to create a new Instagram story are to select the 10 best seconds of the video I'm using, simply because I know this is going to keep the people engaged, it's going to have them captivated, and it's going to have them excited and hopefully they're going to click the link in the bio which is where you're potentially, you know, doing these Instagram stories for so they can watch the full video. So the 10 best seconds is what we're aiming for. Alright, now that you selected your 10 best seconds from the video, as you can see, the video isn't filling up the whole screen. This is a vertical screen, and what we want to do is fill up the whole screen because this is going to look the best on Instagram stories. You don't want it to be really small when people click the IG story. So what we're going to do is we're going to scale all the way up to 400%. Now, as you can see, this is pretty much a perfect Instagram story because I'm not going to have to do any um, transforming to move it to the left to the right. It's pretty much the subject is right in the middle the entire way through this Instagram story, as you can see. So I'm pretty lucky, actually. What we're going to do is we're going to export it, master file, and let's just title this Instagram story one. Let's put it in the desktop and save it. All right, let's create one more Instagram story so you get the hang of this. And this time I'm going to select 10 seconds of a video that are a little bit more challenging as far as framing. So it fits perfectly in the Instagram story. So let's delete this one and let's drag a new one in here. For example, this is a music video that I directed a few weeks ago and I believe has a lot of great clips. So that means there's a lot of 10 seconds for me to choose from. But that also means a lot of the clips that I would be selecting are not perfect compared to that dance video that I just created an Instagram story for. So as you can see, it doesn't fit the full vertical screen as of the moment. So we're gonna scale all the way. And now you can see the problem where the subject isn't totally in the center, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to transform and I'm just going to drag it a little bit to the left so the subjects are right in the center. And so let's play this back, see how it looks. So he, he's going to eventually end up there. All right, and then we have some palm trees. Looks good in my opinion. All right, as you can see, perfect vertical video. Looks really good in my opinion. Subject straight in the middle. All right, so now we have to send the Instagram story to our phone so we can upload it to Instagram through the app. So typically the way I share my Instagram stories to my phone are I right click, I hit share, and then hit airdrop. Now this is only through iPhones, I believe. I don't know if Androids have this, but this is the most efficient way to send an Instagram story if you have an iPhone and an iMac. So right there's my phone and I click done. Then you can head over and create a new story when you swipe up. You should be able to see the past 24 hours of photos and videos in your camera roll. Upload one of the stories you just created in Final Cut Pro and you'll get that full vertical high quality Instagram story. This is an important marketing tool in 2017 if you're a dancer, if you're a musician. These high quality vertical videos are really going to get people more engaged and more involved in your Instagram and hopefully click that link in your bio to see the full video of the Instagram story you created out of. So if you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to support the channel, and you can follow me on Instagram at this is not Mateo. Show me some love, send me a DM, we can talk about anything. Feel free to ask me anything about videos, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Yeah. Yeah.